folks welcome back Monday morning May 8th and uh, I'm on my way to the bank and then I'm gonna pay a visit to the taxidermist and uh, make that final payment on that uh, European mountain my deer skin and that'll kind of give me a, a reason to see where they're at on it if they can even tell you tell me I have begun work on the uh, plaque that I'm going to use to hang it on the wall and I've taken a few pictures uh, I've got it uh, gouged out to put that bullet, uh, or that spent cartridge, down at the bottom of it uh, with the date that I shot the deer. And uh, I've got to visit Lowe's and see how I'm going to set the back of it up to mount on the, on the wall. Um, I sure don't want it falling off and I'm not sure if a regular picture hanger, you know, the, the, the little uh, long piece with the uh, zigzags cut in it or the whatever they you want to call that my brain ain't working this morning I haven't had enough coffee anyway I want to be sure that uh, whatever whatever method I use to hang that uh, placard up I don't want that thing falling and, and, and busting so anyhow I'm gonna get this journey going and I'll bring you back when uh, other things uh, get uh, rolling on it I right, got a quick little update on the uh, placard I'm making for the uh, deer skull. I'm uh, running some rope around that uh, edge there in between the two pieces of cedar. And then uh, I'll uh, clear coat everything, excuse me, clear coat everything and then kind of set where I'm going to put the, the mount for the skull. And then I got to get the uh, spent cartridge put inside that deal and then I'm gonna probably look into uh, putting some smaller twine and kind of outline the, uh, the outside edges of that uh, spent cartridge so that uh, it hides any any uh, defective workmanship see I had a little piece that uh, pulled out when I was chiseling away but uh, It'll be all right. Rugged, buddy. Just like that. Uh, I still, I'll never forget that morning. I had a buddy of mine giving me some grief on uh, social media about it. He could tell it was my first deer because I was making such a fuss over it. But I don't, I don't really think I was that bad. But, you know, it took me long enough. Years of making mistakes and stuff. And I finally get one. And uh, I think we're already halfway through that uh, that meat so I'll definitely be uh, spending some more time out in the woods and I'm gonna uh, utilize the black powder rifle and the uh, crossbow try to try to get a couple of deer in that freezer I'd like to be able to get that chest freezer rolling it's uh, it's good freezer just nothing in it and it's not hooked up yet anyway I'm gonna get back to work and I'll uh, I'll bring you back when I get some more progress made on this see you shortly All right, I've just about made it all the way around. I'll have to cut that and then try to make it as seamless as I possibly can. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about doing that just yet, but it will come to me. And as soon as I get that joined up, then I will begin the clear coat process. And uh, after all that dries, then I'll... Uh, put the actual skull mount on that and then it'll be uh, ready to receive that European mount as soon as I get it in. And when I went and uh, I paid it off yesterday and she was thinking maybe a month or two left on it so but uh, they will call me they do they they still know I exist so nothing's been lost yet <laughs> anyhow I'm gonna get back to work and I'll bring you back shortly All right, I thought maybe I'd do a little bit of filming with this finishing. It looks like I forgot where I put the clear scissors at. I'm going to do a lot of legs for a little bit. 
But I also figured as soon as I started making that video, I would jinx myself. And that's exactly what it looks like has happened. <laughs> wow. Okay. Man, I gotta get this garage cleaned up. Give me a minute. Uh, I wonder if I left it laying. Yeah. <laughs> Found it! Well, that didn't work. Left the gap. God dang it. I knew it. as soon as I get the camera rolling, I'd screw this up. I think. One of those things. Never try to eyeball anything, folks. You'll end up screwing stuff up. Luckily, this is going to be on the top, and I'm gonna. I will be able to make that work because that's just what I do. I make shit work. Let me get my glue down in here. to burn myself in the process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece put a little piece in there. I'm going to do it like this. Hot glue up there. Put some right there. And put this in that spot just like that. And just hold it there a minute. Wow. Most aggravating. But that's the way the weenie wiggles sometimes. Just tuck it in. Now all I gotta do is cut it off right there and that, that'll fix that problem. I'll show you what it did. And luckily being on the top, it's not, you're not gonna notice it. But that's how I close the gap in. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. But it usually, that usually happens when I decide to get in front of the camera and do something. That's why I, I take a lot of pictures and kind of update you through the video. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work on this and, and fix that. Get that all cleaned up. And uh, get back to work on it. Okay, and that's the little repair job. So it's, you can't really tell. Happy! Anyway. Alright. That worked out. Now I'm going to hit it with the blowtorch. <laughs> yeah. That'd be alright. I'm going to hit it with the blowtorch and burn all them fuzzies off of it. And it'll also kind of give it a, some little black specks throughout it. And then I will start clear coating. I'll bring you back, I promise. Okay, I put that blowtorch to use, and I even kind of blackened the, uh, the white cedar a little bit, and got it around the edges, and got that rope. But I left the middle alone, and uh, I think that's I think that's gonna look nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. 
I'm happy with that. It's a go. Thanks. Goodbye. All right, guys. That's about all I can do today. That's the first coat of uh, spar varnish. And I, uh, I like how that turned out. I put that varnish on the rope also to kind of also bring that out. And I do, I do like how that, uh, that uh, white cedar or regular rough cedar, whatever you want to call that, uh, took that uh, blowtorch. That looks really good. Now if I can just hurry up and get my uh, European mount finished so I can get in on there. I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to bring today for a close, so I'm going to hit the pause button and bring you back when I get some more work done on it. See you shortly. Well, good morning, folks. It's Wednesday. Not the weekend yet. And uh, I'm getting ready to drill the holes in this area. I got them marked off. I hope they're straight. If not, yeah, it's hard to tell. Anyway, I'm <clears throat> fixing to drill it so I can put the uh, the uh, mounting system on it. And this thing, would it, it, it's close to being ready. i got to get the uh, spent cartridge put in there. And uh, then we hurry up and wait on the skull to be finished at the taxidermist. And then it'll slide right on there and uh, I can put it on the, on the fireplace or above the fireplace. Anyhow, I'm going to get that done and get that... Uh, system mounted to it and then I'll bring you back and give you a peek. See you in a few. Alright, it's together. There's the center of the uh, mounting system for the skull. And then uh, there's the spent cartridge that uh, I took him down with. With the, the date, I don't think if you can see that or not, December 1st of 2018. The rope. And uh, there it is. And the next update that I'll have for this will be when I finally get that skull in, which I think we're looking at about two more months or so. Anyhow. Bring you back when it's done. Hi, right, good morning, folks. It's Thursday morning. Uh, I want to say it's the ninth, I think. 9th or 10th, something like that. And this is the plaque now that I made for that uh, deer skull. And uh, that's the, uh, the little apparatus that goes inside the hole where the spinal cord would have uh, gone into the, the base of the skull. It'll sit on there just like that and kind of lean out. And you can see that I can uh, move the, the, uh, the skull up and down and then that's set up where it could be moved side to side. And then uh, there's the uh, spent cartridge that I took the deer down with. That was courtesy. My brother had that done for me. I, I don't know the man's name that did the laser etching on that. Um, I, what I can do is find out who the man is, and I can put that on my uh, Outdoor America Facebook page. But anyhow, that's it. Now we just hurry up and wait for the. Uh, the uh, European Mount Skull to come in, and uh, I'll put it on there, and we'll be done. All right. Uh, what I'll do uh, when when the skull does come in, and I get it up on the up on the wall, I'll do a little follow up video and uh, kind of show it off too. So anyhow, you guys have a great week, and I will catch you on the next video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, I do invite you to subscribe. I'm getting, uh, I'm learning how to do this camera stuff, so, uh,
each each time I do a video, it's it's a uh, moving moving in the right direction, I guess. Anyway, you guys have like I said, you have a great weekend. I will catch you on the next video.